A lot of possibilities for uh, characters in this matchup. Avian having a Snake and a Min Min. Um, he's probably got some other third character. I know Rob has um, Snake and ZSS, and I'm pretty sure he has a third character. Mm -hmm. Do you know? Uh, not off the top of my head. Yeah, no. I want to say he has a third decent character. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Yeah, I know Rob uh, does well in squad strike brackets, which means you yeah. have to have like yeah, yeah. Uh, a reliable third. But funny, funny story is uh, these two are on the same uh, crew battle team, same collegiate crew battle team. And just last week, the mm. two of us did Confluence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was a great time. Uh, there's the rule was was only one player can play a certain character. So yeah, Indian so had Indian to play Min Min. And Rob was playing uh, the Snake, obviously. So yeah, they could have gone Rob's uh, ZSS, but I'm not sure how confident he is on that. As we'll see what he goes to. Oh, oh he okay. ZSS. Yeah, I definitely like that in this matchup. Snake Min Min does not sound very good um, for Snake. It doesn't. I don't know. That's one of those matchups that sounds losing for both characters. Yeah, it's, <laughs> like it's, it doesn't sound good for either. It's like neither character, like no, neither of us are having fun in this matchup. So let's just like play something different. Typically, when you think of a matchup, you're like, okay, this character does good in like this, this, and this, and this character does good in this, this, and this. When I think of Snake Min Min, I just think of oh, this character does bad in this, and this character does bad in the other. <laughs> Yeah, you can't like, really think of the you can't think of the positives in that match. It's just right. like, okay, who what character loses more? <laughs> but here we go, starting off on small battlefield, the ZSS. I like the ZSS pick because uh, flip kick is going to be able to approach from like those angles that yeah. Min really struggles with. Yeah, that forty five degree. Yeah, so now like right there, starting off strong here, and Min and this is overall still just a very slippery character that uh, Avian might struggle to just land any hits on, let alone you know the one twos or you know the the, the simple connections. But here we go, starting off, gets uh, gets Avian off stage and Rob putting on the pressure early. Yeah, Min Min in general is going to struggle against these more movement-based characters. And ZSS, the queen of movement herself, uh, who Rob has taken some good sets with. Um, I'm not sure who Rob's best ZSS win, but he puts up some great uh, some great sets against PR players with the ZSS. Yeah, flip kick, get back to center stage, control it. There's a little grab, a little tether grab. Now off stage. Ooh, yeah, no. obviously get it right back. Avian in the corner, though, and this is where Rob is going to capitalize. He tries to chase way out there, doesn't find the connection, as both players are going to slap each other around, Ooh. and Avian just barely not able to make it back. I didn't see what happened. Yeah, I think just uh, up beat. I think I hit my Paralyzer and then just, like, missed up beat somehow. Dang. So it was brutal. Yeah, unfortunate situation, but, you know. It's not the end of it. You know, you still have a ZSS at 116%. You, uh, like that, you just breathe on uh, the wrong way, uh, and that'll be the stock. Yeah, she's going to lose stocks pretty early. Um, her mobility is really her saving grace in terms of survivability. Um, she's able to avoid big hits a lot of the times. Avian is one to find those every now and then. Yeah, playing a character like ZSS, your your movement is a lot of your defense. It's a lot of like how you you know you can yeah you're not gonna be able to like you know shit sit there and you know, tank a bunch of stuff. But if you stay movement and stay moving and stay slippery, you're gonna have a, uh, a much easier time. But okay, here we go. Gets this back to center stage. A little spike on stage. Nice little tech as well from Rob. As, uh, wow, okay, Avian landing a couple of these one two punches. Yeah, a big thing to look for in this set is how well is Rob able to capitalize when Avian's off stage. Because obviously, we always talk about it when Min Min's on screen, that's her worst um, aspect. But Avian's been doing a good job mixing up recovery. And when Min Min gets back to ledge before you after you go for a ledge guard, and then she resets and she has stage positioning, that's worst case scenario against Min Min. Okay, there you go, a little Chakram's gonna land again off stage. Has all of these, all the recovery, but yeah, that's too deep. Doesn't have any resources left to make it back, and now Avian pulling a bit of a lead here. He's gonna lock back in here. Yeah. Harry, in the oh! Got a little lost in the sauce, maybe buffered it down here at the wrong time. Runs off, and Avian is gonna take game number one. Yeah, unfortunate. However, if you're Rob, you're thinking, okay, it happens to the best of us, you know what I mean? Rob doesn't do that very often. Um, he, he might have just been due for it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he might not have had an SD all day, so the uh, the karma god said, now's your time. Might have, uh, been a, might have been a snake muscle memory moment. <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. That's not a mistake he makes very often, though, yeah. point being. So, moving into this next game, uh, Rob is not going to be too deterred based on that. Do you think he goes uh, character swap? Uh, I, I don't know, man. he swaps a snake at this point. Does he stick with the ZSS? Oh, it looks like he's sticking with the ZSS and sticking with the Min, Min as yeah, well. I do like that. I do like that. The, the ZSS was looking very capable, um, apart from that unfortunate ending. So I like sticking to it. Yeah, it, really, it was putting in the work it needed to. It was just you know one unfortunate buffer move is like was gonna take. And now here you go, seeing off the start, 32%, and already has uh, Avian at ledge. Avian's doing such a great job making it difficult to pressure him off stage. He's just throwing out um, 
throwing out hitboxes, so it forces you to have good timing even when you're in advantage. A couple of forward airs is going to do exactly that. Okay, the up, up be not uh, going to hit on startup and not really do much else as Rob's going to make it back to stage. Avian has a chakram out and looking to catch a lot of uh, these little Rob approaches. Nice to do so. for Rob. Yeah. Little Zare as well, and now Miss Tech. That's going to put on a lot of damage. Down to the corner. Rob is getting a little bit errant with these flip kicks. He's kind of just throwing them out um, whenever he's in the corner. And Avian's doing a good job just dashing back and covering his movement. Yeah, and now Zare off stage. Is that going to be enough to... Uh, no. Nope. Going to tether right on back. Didn't have the uh, all the pressure needed off stage Ooh. to take that stock. He's off offstage, and Rob tries to chase off, but that's what I was talking about earlier. Avian just pressures that corner so well, he just places a hitbox there. Doesn't let you run off and uh, tag him for free. Yeah, and now, look at that. Megawatt landing, and again, is going to allow Avian to take the first stock in this game, number two. Is Rob looking for just that little poke that's going to take the stock. Well, Rob's having a hard time closing these out. Tries to approach, but he doesn't get it. And this is where the discomfort with your character comes in. Rob, a snake main at heart. Um, and when you're on the back foot like this, you really want to be able to have something that you can comfortably lean on. And with no jump, Rob has nothing of the sort. Brutal is now Rob sitting on that last stock. Oh, Whoa, you know what? Relax, yeah, yeah, went for <laughs> relax. it. Went for it. Man, a little too much dip on his chip with that one. That was... That would have been crazy. He's like, is this, is this also spicy? He's yeah. like, no, it's not spicy. It's very spicy. Wild end to the game. That would have been. But now Rob off stage again. Avian's been doing such a good job here, catching jumps and flip kicks and things such as. But there we go. Rob is able to find something of his own. Yeah, Uppy not going to do it, but up air is connecting. Is that your stock? Not quite. Good DI from Avian. Still living 91% here. And this is what you're looking for, Rob, to try and get something. There okay, there you go. There a little pressure off stage. Doesn't allow uh, Avian to recover. Down air. Back on center stage, but now look at that range distance. Doesn't matter because Tether Grab's gonna do the work for you. Now all of a sudden, both of these characters could be taking a stock um, in equal timing. As we see, a little ladder coming through from Rob. Yeah. Be careful, Avian. One, two, buckle my shoe. Now here you go, a little forward <laughs> again. I was thinking that was flip kick on that landing there, but not quite. Rob trying to send this Avian creature up to the sky yet again. As we see, both around 50%. This is about ZSS kill percent range. She could find uh, some sort of falling there, maybe an up air ladder. But Ooh, one, off stage, be careful, Avian. Yeah, but at 112, this megawatt's gonna put in work too. Gotta be careful, back air. There it is. Off not the quite, side, but look at that DI from Rob Living, but oh, oh, sniped him from up top. And Avian goes up two games to none. Pinpoint precision for Avian, just runs up there, tags him with the arm. Rob was trying to recover high. And that's not going to be that safe. Avian can kind of pressure that for free. You know what I mean? Because if Avian misses that uh, upward poke, he, can still he doesn't really get punished that much. He's yeah. going to land before Rob is. He can land and still throw out another option to cover Rob's landing. So yes. now is when you dig deep. It's like, do you go into the rough matchup with the character you've been playing all day? Or do you, no, you stick it out with the ZSS. I honestly like it. Uh, I like sticking the ZSS here. Uh, that snake seems very difficult. Um, Min Min is one of those characters where... So, where when a matchup is hard, it's just hard. <laughs> like, Min Min has some very oppressive matchups in this game. Mm -hmm. um, I see people making Min Min matchup charts and being modest and not giving her any plus threes. Min Min definitely has some plus threes, you know? Oh, yeah. So if you have a bad matchup, sometimes you just got to pick another character. Okay, Miss Tech on platform is going to allow mini ladder, but, you know, interrupted immediately by Avian. Is now just sitting in that Min Min rage, like, okay, what are you going to do? How are you going to approach? Because uh, I believe, because Avian's now a little more confident uh, with these Rob approaches. And Avian, out these flip kicks. I will say so far, Avian's not um, not just matchup diffing right now. Avian has just been the better player. Yeah. Rob has been a little inconsistent with moments like that off stage. Avian's been catching mix up um, uh, movement mix ups, going up high, low, and everything in between. Avian has been putting on a show. Here you go, a little up tilt gets him all up in the air, and you can kind of throw out ladder. There you go, back air gets him off stage. Paralyzer completely nullified. So Rob's going to lose that early stock, but immediately surge back. Looking to tie up the game. Paralyzer not going to be the thing to do it. Um, I know ZSSs have a really hard time killing around this percent. Um, some ZSSs will just stop looking for kills until you get the damage all the way up to like 150. Um, but a ledge guard like that is going to do it. Don't even need it. Just send it an ugly angle and you can't make it back. Yeah, that was a dirty angle too. It was like, how does, how did, where did that come from off ZSS? But here, here you go, yeah, Chakra. True. Right, down air through the arms. Rob finds an approach. That's going to be a bit of damage. Puts Avian in the corner. He's got to not commit too hard here. 
and he does that. He uh, bides his time, finds a good opening. I think the most important part of that approach is really the fact he got Avian to ledge and now can, can continue this pressure as Avian's on platform. Nice. Still it put it in. Look at that back air as well. Keeping Avian off stage. Got to make sure you have what it takes to make it oh, back, though. Okay. okay, still had flip kick. That scared me for a moment. Yeah. Rob's life flashed before my eyes just then. Oh, not good. Yeah. And, and from Avian, throw was too, uh, too slow of a start to really throw it up that close. So now, back throw has back to center stage. Oh, oh. grab, back throw. This is going to be a rough situation if uh, Avian can make it. Rob taking a moment to adjust when he gets grabbed there. And that adjustment pays off. A little falling there, back air. Good All kill right. from center stage at like 100. Good stuff for Rob. Yeah. And still, here you go, keeping it rolling. Look at that pressure, that oh, shield man. pressure still waits, and now ladder combos can start. One, two, three, and another one up at top. But big still, damage. Yeah, big damage, still low, too low percent to uh, take it off the top. And now, at 84 to 101, you've built so much extra credit. Looking really good here from Rob in this game three. Wow. There you go, Paralyzer, up B, gonna do it off the <laughs> side. And just like that, <laughs> game three goes to Rob. Man, what a great sequence for Rob. He was kind of, kind of on the back foot. He lost that stock early, but... He was not having it. Rob was playing angry there, playing a little perturbed. As he takes those last two stocks super quick. I didn't even like I didn't even fully notice what happened. I I, I kinda looked down to adjust my uh, adjust my wristband and I looked down and dead. So much extra uh, credit. credit. Really good yeah. here from Rob in this game. Yeah. Wow. There you go. Paralyzer up B. Gonna yeah, do Rob it was so, uh, having better luck approaching from above in that last game. Avian in games one and two was doing an extremely, extremely good job covering Rob's approaches from the sky. His ESS can do that to a lot of characters, um, especially Min Min, who is not known for her um, anti-air and uh, anti-45 degree angle coverage. Uh, so Rob was trying to approach from that angle, but in games one and two, Avian was covering it very well. Game three, Rob was just able to mix it up just a little bit more. Yeah, found that right angle, you know, maybe possibly like a 47 or something that like yeah. Avian was like, I can't really do anything about this, but still got in. And for the first time we saw like, you know, down smash landing or uh, that's not down smash. That's what is it? The paralyzer. Uh, oh yeah, that neutral B. Uh, the one who shoots at the ground. That is. Oh yeah, that's smash. Yeah, I've been hit by it plenty of times. Oh, here we go. Avian now pulling out the snake for a <laughs> snake ZSS matchup. Yeah, this is when it starts. Two of Rob's characters on screen right now. Um, so Rob's got to be comfortable against Snake naturally because he plays Snake. And I imagine um, these two play like in the ditto or play this matchup quite a bit being on the same team. Yeah, Ooh. This yep. matchup doesn't seem the easiest, though, I'll say that. No. Um, as trades are going to be pretty ugly, and um, uh, Snake can low profile a lot of the ESS and stuff as well. So Rob's going to have to get crafty here against the character that he is most comfortable with. Yeah, and it's it's going to come down to the tra not only the trades, like you said, but how uh, Rob can, you know, follow up those trades. You know, if, you know, you're following... Uh, Avian into the sky with these up tilts and then a grenade pops. Like, how are you going to respond to that and still keep uh, Avian in disadvantage? But right now, going right back to it, center stage, and just, you know, slowly eking out percent. The name of this game is going to be Rob uh, taking stocks early. If he's letting if he's letting Avian live super late, Snake is always going to be taking stocks off of a character like ZSS around, like, before 130%, right? But if Rob isn't able to take stocks and get these ZSS kill confirms, um, it could be super difficult for him to hold his ground in this set. And here you go. Oh, goes a little up throw. Not quite going to do it. Yeah, not just yet. Instead, going to drop down C4. Still not doing it. A little, uh, oh, there's the Paralyzed, but no follow-up. Instead, going to have to be a run-up grab. It's sort of a panic option to try and get something. Uh-oh, there you go. Grenade falling out of nowhere. See, and this, will, uh, this is what I was talking about. If, uh, um, if Avian is able to live this late, he's going to be finding kills. They're going to come to him naturally. Where um, around these percents, Rob is going to have to start working so much harder. As up throw is definitely going to do it here if he can get a grab. Or back air. Yeah. Back air's way needed instead. But good job avoiding, uh, you know, not getting blown up by C4 in that case as well. Uh-oh, here you go. Back throw situation. Let's go for the down throw. That's going to be dash attack instead to get uh, Rob to the other side of stage. Onto ledge, but now Rob's turning around. There's grenade in hand. He doesn't have grenade in hand, but it's gonna be the double explosion to take it off the top. Uh, the grenade in his hand comes back to bite him. As these up airs aren't gonna come through, and this is what I was thinking about that would make this matchup kind of difficult for ZSS, is that when grenade or, or when Snake has a grenade in his hand or around him, ZSS can't really start any of those big combos. You kind of have to opt for more uh, one-two hits and then extending on your advantage, just like this. Yeah, and now trying to land that that finishing blow, whether that be, you know, like uh, a back air, you know, gets him with the, the paralyzer. So, percent. Oh, gotta be careful in your approaches, though, guy. Take, always take note of where the snake put the C4. 
All right, this is that range that I was talking about where despite um, Avian being at a higher percent, Rob is going to be the one having a hard time killing here. But getting put off stage and way up high, got to be careful with the way you chase this. And Rob is just that, pinpoint precision to take that stock off the yeah. top level. Yeah, gets that up air right when he needed it. And now off stage gets Avian still at ledge here. On tilt, not going to land. Instead, it's going to be the Nair. Ooh, okay, gets him off stage this time. Paralyzer still coming out. Good job shielding all these grenades. And that up tilt that Avian's just throwing out, that's that's going to kill about now. Runs up, tries to find it. The up air is not going to do it either. And now Avian's the one who's having a hard time killing. There you go, down tilt back here. Only hitting the first one of it. Now still following Avian that high up. Wow, Rob's movement is looking crisp right now. Pressuring Avian super well. The counter pick is not the move right now. Avian is unable to find his footing in this game. Is that up tilt gonna do it? Only at 67%, I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah. Avian's still very much in this. Only 67% still, and look at that. Look at 42 before you uh, know it. That's what I was thinking about. Right back, pretty much back to even here. 61, 67, Avian. Putting in work here towards the very end. Gets a dash Ooh. attack, and now how is Rob going to be able to make it back? Gets hit below stage with the up smash. Still, there's a little spike ski. I honestly really like that from Rob. Um, he might have even Paralyzer, here you go, up so gets the invincibility back. Yeah, Paralyzer landed, but the grenade was there to help save uh, Avian's life. Now has to recover with C4. Not what you're looking for is you're going to have to... Careful, Avian. That's a really high recovery. That, that up air could have done it at any given moment. The side beyond shield, the scramble situation, either player could die right now. The patience from Avian waiting for the spot dash before throwing at the up tilt. Not gonna land as he just slowly approaches. Okay, 155, 96, Ooh. both in kill percent here. Gotta be careful with this. Oh, Ooh, be careful, Rob. Yeah. That scramble situation is so scary for ZSS here because she's not quite getting kills off a of grab yet, I don't think. But Snake is definitely killing with up tilt. Grab might just do it. Up air, not quite going to do it. 168% on Avian. Rob chasing all the way to the corner where Avian is now stuck. And that grab is going to take it. Rob brings it all the way to a game five despite the counter pick. Ooh, wait. You know, this started off in the Avian show. And as this has climbed on, Rob getting more and more comfortable under ZSS. Yeah. And just like that. Boom, here we go, game five situation. Eating yeah, it think, right back up. I think it was a matter of Rob just kind of uh, getting settled into the ZSS uh, flow a little bit. Um, Snake and ZSS, obviously, two extremely different characters. So settling into one after playing the other all day is not the easiest thing. So it took Rob a couple of games, but in game four, the ZSS is looking real comfortable to, uh, to be moving like that in such a high-stress game. Because obviously, every... Uh, um, every last hit scenario is going to be high stress, but against a, a character like Snake, who can catch you with a grenade or an up tilt, you get and then combo it into something, you, you have to be so careful. You have to have ice in your veins at that point. You have yeah. to be able to stay calm, cool, and collected in you know in the heat of battle. But you're all going back to the Min Min for this game five. All right, he's going to go back to the character that's been doing him well as Avian. Lost one as Rob, lost one as Min Min, and now we're back to all reliable. On Smashville, here you go, getting started. Start off with a parry. Really set the tone early. It's like, hey, I already know what you're gonna do off the start. You can do a lot. There you go, up smash. I will say this stage seems uh, pretty rough for Avian. I know it was his counter pick. Um, so obviously he's got something in mind, but um, giving Rob such a small space to work with, he's just gonna be smothering it. Yeah, but it could also be a thing of, you know, playing around the center platform, like who controls that's exactly what stage. I, I think that was, yeah, I think that's what Avian's game plan is going into this thing. Yeah, yeah, I think hiding under that platform to uh, kind of nullify some of the approaches from above that Rob has been finding success with is going to be huge. Just like that, Rob gets that flip kick up high, and Avian catches it and catches Rob off stage. Loses an early stock. Rob has won from this percent deficit before, though, so Avian still has to be uh, on his toes. Yep, has to follow, so has, to, has to answer back. And does so with the back air right there. Yeah, had to be on his toes, but he meets ZSS's toes. That little back air kicks him right off to the left side. Oh yeah, those heels hurt. And now Avian showing like, hey, I got those boots. And these boots do a lot of talking. <laughs> They're made for walking, but they talk as well. <laughs> they talk as well. That F though, gonna catch him in the corner. Putting on this pressure, Rob is pressuring very effectively right now. The safe pressure has made the difference. Yeah, able to just sort of throw out these Zares. And uh, it's almost a battle, of, it's becoming a battle of range between these two. Ooh, okay. couple of hits. Yeah, a little patience there. Gets a spot dodge, and now just reset back to neutral. Yeah, see, now, this is where I'm seeing the stage pick make a lot more sense from Avian, is seeing Rob in the corner like this, it's like, how does he approach? He's found so much success going above, but that center platform just kind of gives Avian a little bit of extra layer of, of protection. But really, it's it's a double-edged sword, because now Avian, Ooh. in this sta <laughs> in this standpoint, gets off stage, and Rob can just sort of do what he pleases. Yeah, it's such a small stage. Rob can chase you around. 
So um, a high-risk stage pick, I'll say, for Avian. Um, it's been paying off pretty well so far, though. As we see in, um, in scenarios like this, Rob has had a, uh, just a hard time getting close. Yeah, and the trades are always seem to consistently be going in Avian's favor Ooh. as an up smash is going to land and send Rob up to the skybox, but not do it off the top. Instead, the Nair and wait DI from Rob to still stay alive at 134 in the ZSS. Has to make a move here, though. You don't want to fall, fall behind your last stock this early. Okay, gets off stage. Zare's gonna land. Is that gonna be it for the recovery? No, gets it back with the Magna Hands, and instead the Megawatt will land and hit him with the Uno reverse card. Yeah, great reversal. That's exactly what Avian needed here. A bit of a lead. It's gonna be great. Now it's all about getting extra credit. Avian doesn't find any of it. We're resetting last stock game five here in losers' quarters. These guys are both putting it all out on the line. Oh, going down to the wire with this one is now. Paralyzed Blaster, not gonna land instead. Down tilt, here that you go, big. string. Dig deep here. Wow, downer out of disadvantage, comes in clutch for Avian. Gets a bit of damage out, but we're resetting similar percents again. Both players just going back and forth. No one is able to find a super long string. Yeah, shocked him there, gonna land because it's so fast, and then careful, yeah. Rob. Yeah, oh, gets off stage. I love that quick recovery from Rob. He's been going slow, and right when Avian thinks he might have a little bit of time in this clutch spot, he goes fast. And now Avian, way off stage. He's he's not going to go fast himself, but he makes it back regardless. Mega walk in the land, up smash, barely doing anything. Ooh. Oh, got to be careful. Don't want to use all of your resources, but it. just enough. So smart for Rob. He comes flying in from above with that back air and just catches Avian on the back foot and does exactly what he needed to do at that last moment, comes through with that.